Welcome to Setios Reviews and we have a Corretti um, USB adapter in here, Wi-Fi adapter namely. It is called WAAE610, whoops, where I'm showing it. Very simple box, yet it's nice look. It's not like gold, it's like reddish gold. I really like this kind of logos they print on it. But uh, let's open it up. It's a uh, tall band and it should have an antenna, so let's check it out. A uh, tall band as it has a 2.4 gigahertz range and a 5 gigahertz range. The 5 gigahertz um, is becoming slowly but surely more popular. Okay. Uh, stupid stickers, I hate them. Uh, well, that's, that's all there is. <laughs> the antenna is already attached, you can't detach it. And uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, that's original. <laughs> Current D card, okay. Pretty cool. On some current tea. <laughs> right. Uh, drivers, okay, come on, guys, stop using CDs. I've said that before and I say it again. Um, you could just include a small nano USB uh, stick, like small as this one, or better yet, just integrate the drivers into it. Make it like act USB stick or something, <laughs> like uh, 12 channel, I don't know. But uh, well, I don't even have the CD thing, so. There's a small manual, get started, everything is like looking like cardboard. I don't really need any of that. And well, nothing much to show in here. It's it's a USB stick, Wi-Fi tool band. I don't know how well it's gonna work. The antenna should bend like this, yep. It's pretty good because it's so uh, so lightweight that you can easily like stick it in there like this. Uh, some people, they put like huge USB things, like if it's like, you know, big USB stick or something, they just plug it in and leave it and then it's gonna just slowly break their USB port and then later they're complaining, oh my god, my USB is not working. That's gonna happen instantly, but at some point. But this shouldn't be a problem because it's really lightweight, even if you hold it like this. But it's better to twist the antenna like that. Only thing I don't like is that you can't take the antenna off. It should be detachable. You just screw it off and put the new one on. But I'm gonna give it a quick go and see how well it works. Uh, I should be able to test it out in 5 GHz range and see how it works. So the drivers you can download from their uh, website, corridetech.com. Uh, you can also view the instruction manual in here. The thing is this says somewhere right here, it says that 5 GHz is uh, 433 um, megabits per second which uh, if we calculate that 433 divided by 8 that would be uh, 54 megabytes per second but that's far from it so let's give it a speed test and let's see let's select something in um, London Croydon it's a good uh, server usually so let's see it's on 5 gigahertz and 100 megabit line so let's see what it pulls I did run this test few times and this is pretty much the maximum it ever goes, it just doesn't go over that. And that's not the line, because another adapter I tried, it actually went up to 100 easily, so... I think that's the maximum speed this adapter pulls. It's very stable, it's very good for playing, as you can see the ping is only 16. In games it's maybe a little bit higher because of the server locations, but it's, it's good for gaming, works fine. And these are the speeds. Well, upload is limited by the um, internet provider, but download, that's, that's the fastest as it can go. And speaking of the range, well, it's, it's nothing superior. It's a lot better than the built-in uh, wireless, for example, in phones or your laptops or something like this. Definitely a lot better, but nothing special because it's a small antenna, but it works fine. And as about the driver, you don't actually need it on Windows 10, but if you don't install the driver, then you can't use the 5 GHz range, so I highly recommend either download the drivers from here. I always download because you get up-to-date drivers, but you can use the CD which was included. Up to you, and that's about it, so it's, it's a good thing to have actually, it's very handy. Works fine on laptops, I definitely recommend it on laptops and stuff. But works fine for gaming and on main PC, so why not? And I will see ya next time.